Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have here a special visitor. I have my sister. Hi everyone. My name is Marissa Bell. <laughs> so glad to be here. <laughs> Flew all the way from Connecticut uh, to spend some time with my sister. And I'm really glad that we're gonna, you know, talk about some looks with the ears. As you can see, she's a talker. That is good. I don't need to say much. <laughs> We're back, and we have some new lip colors on. Um, so the one I have on right now is Wild Nothing, and it is from ColourPop, and it's Ultra Matte. That's how it looks. Okay, mine's is from ColourPop as well. I've had it for close to a year. Still good. Um, that's why you don't see the name. Um, it's called Mama. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a beautiful orange. And as you will continue seeing with the colors that I will be showing, I love orange and reddish color. So the orange. color that I have right now is a little bit darker. Um, it's from Stella. It's a liquid matte as well. I like the formula a little bit better than this one because I feel like ColourPop sometimes it'll leave you with a cracking feeling and this is very soft and they kind of look similar. I'm more into like the darker nude colors but uh, since I swatched you can see the difference. <laughs> Aww, she's so good. She's doing the hand swatch. I prefer the lip swatch because when it comes down to making a decision, you want to see how the, it, the pigmentation that we each have is different. So if you find someone that is similar to your com complexion, yes, <laughs> then you can have an idea on how it will look on you. The one that I have on is called Sin, and it's from MAC. This is a color that everyone knows about. And... I love it. So this is the color that I have on now. It is by Too Faced. It's melted chocolate. And it smells so good. Um, it smells just like chocolate. Um, and it has a really soft touch, like most of the lipsticks from them. And it's like, it feels so good on my lips. Like I want to keep applying and applying and applying. Um, it looks similar to the one I had before. It's actually a little bit lighter. Um, I think it's perfect for fall, perfect for when you have like a really bold eye and you want to have like a more darker, more nude toned lip and it just pulls the look in together. So, love this, love this. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so the one that I have on right now is from MAC and is Whirl. It's another very famous color, especially the lip liner. This is how it looks. It's a very, I will say that it's in the nude family because um, it's very wearable. You can definitely wear this anywhere and it will look great on you. No matter where it's office or wherever. It will look great. <laughs> so I decided to head over to the pinky side because I didn't want to just show you all of my dark, nudey fall favorites. So um, this one is by Lorac. And the color here is called Duchess, or Duchess. <laughs> so, lipstick, very creamy, very soft. Um, I like to wear this when I go to work. Um, it's just very cute, girly kind of look. <laughs> I have the limited edition from Too Faced. Love it. It's really good. Yes. I Perfect. think this is a must for all type of skin color. It will obviously look different on each skin color, but it's a must for the fall. So this one is called Gingerbread Man. I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't really smell like ginger. It smells good though. Yeah, it smells <laughs> like something that you bake. 
So the next color that I'm trying is called Babes and Balls. <laughs> it's <is> kind <laughs> of like, yeah, it's pretty funny. It's kind of like a ruby color. Uh, it's MAC from MAC. And super creamy. Um, what I love about MAC lipsticks is that you can wear them all day. They're still on. They're super soft. And there's just you can wear them with almost any kind of look, I feel. Uh, well, this color. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have on my lips Stila. The wonderful liquid lipstick that I have reviewed before. Um, if you haven't checked that out, go back to my previous video. This one is called Aria. Yeah, it is Aria. Yes. So this one is, it's like a magenta, but a berry color. It's gorgeous and it's beautiful. Let me restart a bit. <laughs> okay, so the color that I have on right now is my ColourPop again, uh, another ultra matte. It's what it looks like. And then it's called Mess Around. And it's very similar to the Stilla color. They actually look pretty similar. I think the Stilla is a little bit lighter. Um, this is how it looks like on my hand. So this big one right here is, um, that one's mess around. And then, sorry, I don't know how to angle my hand for this. And then this one here, that one over here is the Stilla. <laughs> okay. Take She's away. literally a mess just like her lip color. <laughs> this one is from NARS, as you can see in the packaging. Um, the name of this one is London Calling. It's a beautiful color. And yes, I agree, London is calling me. Hey, so we're going to talk about some other uh, products that we've been using in this season that we really um, enjoy. So I'm going to start with what I've been using like almost every day on my eyes, and it's the Tarte in blue. I know Tartly. Tartlet or leet, sorry. Yeah. But you know, tart. <laughs> and um, I feel like these colors here, oops, don't want to blind you guys, are perfect <laughs> for fall. Um, so the color that I'm using today is Jet Setter, which is the one on this upper corner right here. Um, Firecracker, beautiful shimmer, a little bit of leader in the outside corner, and I use those same colors um, towards the inner corner and then on the bottom. And I'm going to come up a little bit closer so you can see how it looks. And for my lashes, I'm just going to talk about that really quickly. Um, it's the first time using these lashes. It's from Per. And it's pro lashes. It comes in a beautiful packaging. I love that. Never seen anything like that. Um, on my Snapchat, I actually put a picture of the lashes, but they're very natural. Get closer. So they can see closer. No, close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and so, should I talk about anything else? No. Let you. Now it's my time. <laughs> okay. So, um, I have a couple more palettes, but I'll just pick my favorite two at the moment. First, let's start with palette. Just almost everyone knows about these palettes. Look at this beauty. You can it's see amazing. it. Amazing. A lot of oh. options. Yes. Um, the colors that I have on my lids today are from this beautiful palette. I just love it. I look at this and I just get inspired and start putting it on my lids. The other one that I love is, let me take the brush out because it always falls off, from Anastasia, Anastasia, which is very famous. <laughs> Everyone knows about this palette. Sorry, got to Brain fart. It's <laughs> super pigmented too. All of these. Yes, it's beautiful. I love this one. Um, and that is all for face palettes. Okay, so now I have two face palettes right here. 
First, let's start with Jaclyn Hill. You can see right here. This one has, oh my gosh, sorry guys. This That's is- That's you can tell she's been loving it and using it a lot. Yes. <laughs> she put a debt in it. I hit pan. <laughs> so this one is Champagne Pop Prosecco right here. As you can see, I've barely touched this one. Um, I gotta dip into it. Um, this is one of my favorite blush. And the name of this one, I believe is Rose Spring. Then you have this blush, which I've used. Oh, sorry guys, <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh my, so bad. We're still start. We're still learning. <laughs> and then Look at this the hang of it blush. I barely used this blush, but it's very beautiful. So yes, this is a very. <laughs> Gorgeous face palette, however, it's not available anymore, so you can pick it up if you don't have it. Now, this one is from Hourglass. <clears throat> it's from this year holiday collection. It's a limited edition, so if you can get your hands on it, I will highly suggest you get it. It's beautiful. So you will find right here, um, let's start with this one is the bronzer. These two are blush. Let me just zoom it in so you can see it better. Okay, this one is for under your eyes. That is highlight. And this is a setting powder for all over your face. So, yes, if you can get your hands on this, highly suggest. And you? <laughs> I guess let's just talk about, um, I don't have any, like, things like that. So I guess I'll just talk about what I use on my face personally very often. So uh, recently I bought this MAC powder and it's like a all over face powder and it's medium tan and the color is B65. It's a um, like a skin finish. So you can see that I've put a dent in it. <laughs> um, so I have dry skin and I had a really hard time trying to find good powders for my skin that won't make my skin look really cakey or um, having that really dry feeling that I feel like I have to spray my face all day. So this does not do that. So I personally, if, if you have um, dry skin like I do, try this out. I really like it. Um, moving on to like, I guess maybe foundations or whatever else I have on my face just really quickly. Um, so right now I have the L'Oreal True match. Um, so I actually mix this colors. I mix um, the one of the darker colors, one of the cool colors with the warm color so you can get a perfect skin tone. And this is what it looks like. Um, and then what I'm using right now for contour and highlight is a Wonder Stick. And concealer, I am using the MAC Longwear Pro Concealer in the color uh, NW25, which I actually put it on under my foundation and put on top of my color corrector, just so it can um, just focus under my dark circles and stuff like that. And then this is like an all year round favorite. My Anastasia Tip Brow and the pencil does wonders. I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so lastly, I have this two blush right here. I have Tarte Expose, which is one of the famous colors that everyone knows about. I'm just trying to do it here. Oh my gosh, it doesn't, it's not really swatching right. It's kind of light. It's not. <sighs> well, I'll just describe it for you. As you can see here, this is a very is a perfect color for when you don't know what blush to wear. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got all these lips and my eyelids are, everything is looking beautiful, but I don't know what to wear on my, as a blush, this is the one that you go to. I this is the one I go to. <laughs> <laughs> I need that, but. <laughs> this one is from, yeah, let me show you. It's from Anastasia. And this one is called, Peachy Love. Let me see if you can see it. 
better. So this one, um, as you can see, it comes with three different colors. However, what I do is that I mix all three colors and it looks like a perfect ginger color. I love it. Oh, that will go great with your ginger lipstick then. It does. <laughs> That's good. Okay, guys. So lastly, I have this two blush right here. I have Tarte Expose, which is one of the famous color that everyone knows about. I'm just trying to do here. Oh my gosh, it doesn't, it's not really swatching right. It's kind of light. It's not. <sighs> well, I'll just describe it for you. As you can see here, this is a very, it's a perfect color for when you don't know what blush <laughs> to wear. Oh my gosh, I got all this lips and my eyelids are everything is looking beautiful but i don't know what to wear on my as a blush this is the one that you go to I this is the one i go to <laughs> i need that but <laughs> this one is from yeah let me show you it's from anastasia and this one is called peachy love let me see if you can see it better so this one, um, as you can see, it comes with three different colors. However, what I do is that I mix all three colors and it looks like a perfect ginger color. I lastly, love. lastly, um, non-beauty related. We're just going to talk about some cozy, fun stuff that we like to have um, during the fall. So we're actually going to talk about candles and blankets. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, so I have this one. It's called Cactus. Oh, God. Blossom. Cute. <laughs> it's a pink candle, but it smells so good. Can you describe it? Um, like a floral it's... kind of thing, but it's not overpowering. It's really light. It smells like fall floral. Fall. Wow. Yeah, fall. Definitely, like this is, but a very like homey kind of smell. Like I would like to have this smell the less as I walk in somewhere. Yes, I love candles. I I go through them like water. Mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> I have this one is called frosted cranberry. Oh, and by the way, they're both from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I forgot the name of it for a second. They have the best candles, by the way. They do. Oh my god, this one smells like, um... Definitely cranberry. Like cranberry, but also like, you know like when you have like, um, cinnamon apple sprays? It smells yes. like that all together. And it kind of uh. smells like a donut too. I smell like a glazed donut in there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk about one of the candles that I got. This one is Cranberry Woods, which is similar to that one. Oh, this one smells even more like the cinnamon apple and cranberry nuts. Not so much like the other one. Um, so it looks like from White Bean or White Barn. White, white Barn. <laughs> Did you say White Barn? I don't know why I said. Okay, and this one, this one is like aromatherapy, which is, I think it's so, so cool. Um, so it's it based focus. from oil, so it's really good. And it's better for the environment, because a lot of the wax ones, they just, um, they accumulate in the air, and they're just not so good for you. And these oil-based ones, um, they're better for you than, than the other ones. Um, this one is eucalyptus and tea, which, oh, it, just, it just sounds like it's going to be so good for you. I preferably love using candles when I'm, like, doing homework. Or it's towards the end of the day and I get out of the shower. I just want to unwind. Um, sometimes when I'm sleeping. But I wake up in the middle of the night and I turn them off. You <laughs> go to sleep with your candle on? I love Please them. do not do what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, don't, don't do it. I'm not advising you guys to do it at all. That's a no-no. This no. is just what I do. She's so careless. Okay, so lastly. Yay! Yay, guys. Lovely blankets! <laughs> You guys are pro if you made it this far. Yes, thank you. So I grabbed this one from Nordstrom. As you can see, these are the details. It has some tassels. So cute. 
Wow. So soft and it thick and so warm. Good. Like, oh. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm here in the good old Texas, and honestly, well, She has the really AC need... on full blast. That's yes. why she needs it. Yes, that one is good. But it's not really that cold, so. But definitely comfy. Like, oh, it's like. I love it. But I will definitely use it whenever we do have um, a cold weather, which is it's just only going to be for a few days. And then it will, you know, go up, right back up. And then go down. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful here. If you haven't been to Texas, you should come. Anyway. So, one of the blankets that I have, brown, you know, love me with my nude and dark colors. Um, this one is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Super warm, cozy. Take it everywhere. This is actually the blanket that I took when I came down from Connecticut. And I was traveling, you know. This blanket I had. Wrapped it up. Knocked out ASAP. Ooh, so that means it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but thank you guys 